eighth grade. Eighth grade. Eighth grade. So Can I play with that little eighth grade? No, no, no. Prison is not enough for this man. Electric chair, this man. Just nags kicks biggest creep. Now I know I come on here every single kick video saying, oh my, this is the worst kick stream on the platform. Oh my, bottom of the barrel creator. And I just gotta say, my fault for I have committed internet sin number six, grand perjury of the third highest degree in my videos. Because today- yeah, who's like the worst content creator ever? I, did I set myself up? I know you guys are probably gonna say me. I found the streamer who just might be Leon. like 30 times worse than anyone else that I've talked about so far. Which genuinely says a lot because boy, have we looked at a bunch of these clout overdoses. I mean, this guy is so bad that I am honestly shocked that he hasn't been banned off of every platform conceived by mankind yet. Actually, I'm even more baffled that he hasn't been sealed away in like a 10 layer deep cursed seal of doom by the All way right. you be talking. Now, All I know right. that sounds crazy, but I genuinely can't describe him any other way than that. So yeah. I'ma just let you guys see it to believe it. Roll the clip. Let's get it. I, when an old lady, I might say, yo, you deal away, you deal away, you drop deal away, can't right now, I'ma off you, nigga. I might really, yo, I'm, yo, that camera get on me, I don't, like, chat. You see now, I, I, I can cancel every week. This week. Wait, 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 did he just casually say he'll piss on an old lady? Wait, wait, wait okay. Um, all right, R. Kelly. I got canceled the week after, the week before that I got canceled. I, yo, when them cameras come on, I don't know how to act, nigga, I don't. I will do anything to get to the top. I'll do anything to go viral for a viral moment. That's just me. See, that's the problem with y'all, bro. You gotta, you, you gotta really be organic and have people like you for you. Like, chat. Now that you guys officially see my hair, like, y'all still rock with me, right? Like, no. Womp womp. Okay, bro. Okay, bro. It's me, nigga. I get out of my body. That's my fault. Like, I don't mean no harm, but like, them cameras come on. I just do retarded shit. I might spit in the cop's face today. I, I just might. I might take my security's gun off his hip and just shoot somebody. First nigga I see. I don't care if he's seven, eight, ten. Nigga, your ops are, this, this nigga's ops are, are in elementary school. What beef do you got with elementary schoolers, nigga? I don't care if he's 30, 40, 60, I, I'm calling a nigga broad daylight. I might go to jail for the rest of my life today, like, for a viral clip, you know me, nigga. Hear me and hear me good, nigga, I'm here to double down. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. Now, if you couldn't tell from that clip alone, this All guy right. can really only be described as a crash out. Meaning, regardless no, of yes. how stupid, dangerous, or flat out insane something may be, if it can be turned to a viral clip and get posted by the Tweet Deckers, Drama Alert, or Dex Erdo, he will do it. And he even admits he is only doing this type of stuff for views and attention. I mean, he literally refers to himself as Mr. C Red, Mr. Do Anything to Go Viral. And dude says that shit so much that I am damn near convinced in some kind of physiological response to him slapping himself like a lobotomized AIDS zombie. Anyways, from the clips that I've seen on Twitter, as well as the one or two glimpses of stream that I forced myself to watch with some extra context, this guy just pretty much sits on Monkey and talks- Is, is that so Illuminati? Oh, never mind. This nigga got hair to randoms, which is, you know, normally fine. It's normal kick content. Not my cup of tea, but I'm sure people have the same opinions on what I do over here, which is, you know, cool, your opinion. But Monkey itself isn't the problem here. It's what Snags is what doing is? on there that is questionable. All right. You're not bad enough. Your nose, you got the fucking beak on you. You look you look like you stink. Your hair look like, your hair look mad rough, like, comb your a little bit. Mm. Yeah, you. And your shit, your lips. Why are you so you, mean? You dump Look, look, your lips look mad dry. Your hands is mad fat. What do you gain from this? Like, you just clowning. Like, is this funny? Bullying niggas on the internet for no reason? You look crazy. Do this. Show me your teeth. Your teeth is yeah. pissy. Your teeth is pissy, yellow. What the? Your chat is my teeth pissy? I'm... Stop speaking sign oh, language. Oh, oh, that sign language. You deaf? I am actually deaf. No, you're I'm not. Cause like, no, you do not, bro. Don't be with. Oh, shit. My fault. I'm going to have. I'm you did all of that in front of someone that can't even hear you properly? No, no. This nigga need to go to jail, bro. I'm going to have. Yeah, you sure are, buddy. You're going so far down that the fire is going to be blue. As you just saw, that was a deaf girl that he's talking. That man is meeting Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, OJ Simpson, all of them niggas to like that just mocking and disrespecting shorty all for the name of content and i genuinely need to ask who the hell is watching this bullshit dog like who please point me to them so i can grab them by their collar and shake some sense into them and even chat, who's the worst content creator y'all watch bro and do not say my name like actually give me a good content creator Stepping aside from the fact that she's deaf, broadcasting yourself talking crazy like this in front of thousands of people is just ugly. It's ugly ass behavior. I pray the small 40 seconds of fame was truly worth it for this nigga because he is going far, 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 far beneath hell. Like he he is going to burn and boil down that with fucking Epstein, bruh. And speaking of- And the thing is, it's like, do y'all not care about getting sponsors? You, The only sponsor you're gonna get at this point is kick, kick, kick. I don't know anyone else that's gonna sponsor you, bruh. 
Biggie, you know what else this nigga like to do on Monkey? Riz up minors. You 14, 14. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that what grade is that? Like a sophomore? Eighth grade. Sophomore. Eighth grade. Sophomore. Can I play with that? Sophomore's little? like 16. What? Can I play with that little eighth grade? No, no, no. Prison is not enough for this man. Electric chair, this man. He needs to go on Mount Everest and, and, and just jump down. Real talk. God. <laughs> Public execution, bro. Uh -huh. Use a freaky. He needs to. He needs to jump off your forehead, bro. My forehead is not that big, bro. Can you can you relax? Ass nigga. That freak ass laugh can go weirdo for weirdo with ED fucking key. Huh? Like he hears the girl say she is 14 years old and she is. Like, how do you say shit like that and be like, yeah, a lot of people are gonna laugh to this? In the A freaking grade, then proceeds to engage. Like you can't make this shit up. Word to everything holy. I want this nigga cash rate is so fucking bad that it is not even funny. Niggas like this need to be hung by the balls, dealt 20 lashings to it, and then have his meat chopped off. And he claims that No, he not even he not even lying. We need a public stoning for this man. Send that nigga to Saudi Arabia, bro. This is a joke, but who in their right mind's first instinct is to make a predator joke, yet alone just make a joke about that at all. Like, be serious. I mean, genuinely, in what realm, what multiverse, what dimension do you see a child and the little first joke that comes to mind is, can I play with you in your, uh, your no-no zone? <laughs> Ban this nigga from the internet. Put him on a list. Send this nigga to help. He need to go now. Yo. So this whole thing trended for a few days over on Twitter, and if you don't believe in law of attraction yet, you honestly need to now, because this man manifested what he wanted the most to go viral. And his next Cause of actions might have been the funniest shit that I have ever seen him do. I kid you not, this absolute fing doofus's first thought to all this was to tweet out and say, Come on, muddy, you know that's not me, gang. You know I wouldn't do that. It was the AI that did that, even though it was live, people caught it live, it wasn't me. No, no, no. Own up to what you did, Mr. Do Anything for you. So I thought you wanted to go viral. You're getting exactly what you wish for. People mm. are talking about you, man. This is, a, this is a cause for celebration. Then again, you know, it's sad to see that you can't pull views doing anything else, but you know, I I feel like, yo, chat, some, uh, if you're going to be a content creator, you got to really see your vision, bro. You feel me? If you don't see yourself, like, if you see yourself going big based off of being a creep, then you're actually weird. That, I genuinely think that's him off stream as well. I guess that's how the cookie crumbles. The blockhead went private for a few days and then came back with the most oh. obvious chat GPT apology I have seen in months. He oh, yeah, that nigga's illiterate. Has to be. Put a screenshot of it and then got on stream to read it word for word in the saddest way possible. To everyone who is concerned, I would like to apologize to those who have been affected by a recent video clip that has came out. I would first like to say that video. Chat, this nigga can't even read his own his own apology. And, 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 and you want me to believe he, he put it out? I'm not. There's no apology for for telling her that you uh, uh what an eighth grader that you want to play with her, you know, her private part. Dude, you're, you need to you need to go to jail clip is complete out of and my why character. did kick let this nigga stream for so long character for i have a mother a sister and other family members who are females therefore i respect females and would never want to endanger anyone with everything being joked up about exactly. on the internet speak with your bird chest nigga apologize like you mean it nobody else did that shit but you own up to your shit and i say this is probably chat gpt generated because he literally pulled the same stunt more than once think wrong i don't want to see walls can i see your face i don't want to see walls and bunk beds can i see your face please 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 hello sydney oh there you go chest okay that's what i like to see there you go there you go nice nice stomach Nice titties. W, 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 W. How old is she? Hey, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How old is she? Wait, wait, how? Wait, 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 wait. How old is she? Yeah. How old is she? How old is she? Get her. <laughs> Oh my god, I wanna suck him. I wanna suck him. I wanna suck him. There's no way out of this one. You're done. Now, this clip in particular saves. Chad, if I ever if I ever act like that to women, I need all you guys to mass report me. I need you guys to cancel me. I need you guys to make a whole collective petition to end me on YouTube and in real life. Call the local police department on me. I will never be that down bad ever, bro. That's by a small thin ass needle because you can't tell the age of the person because they never said it. But that aside, he still had whoever it is flash a kick chat full of minors because let's be honest, no one above the age of 16 is watching this tart. On top of that, if you exactly, look- Exactly, yo, yo, hold on. And that, that's, that should be a felony of some sort, bro. You telling me you, you show it, you show your minor titties and you're happy? You're happy that your your fan base of, of 14 year olds finally saw titties for the first time, bro? Look at the room in this clip, it's probably a kid. So do with that info what you will. And FYI, exactly. I don't it personally is, know it that. It is probably a kid, because be, be honest, chat. 
What well, like when you guys were teenagers? I mean, a lot of you guys are teenagers. When you're bored, what do you do? You go on Omegle. You go on the Monkey app. Now that there's no Omegle, so it's like it's most likely gonna be a teenager because adults are busy. The Just Snag Cinematic Universe timeline of these clips. I'm not sure if he apologized before or after the clip that I just showed you, but for this shit to happen more than once, like I said, he needs to be eviscerated off of all platforms. Yes. But kids are not the only demographic that he likes to allegedly fuck with, because once his five seconds of fame from this wall, he just needed to go viral again. That clout pill must have been talking to him what like the Green do? Goblin mask, because good lord, he genuinely started tweaking and pulling Green Goblin antics all for the sake of attention. This man decided that it would be a fantastic idea to start disrespecting El Chapo for clips. I'm every Mexican shot. El Chapo. El Chapo, nigga. I go to Cabo. Nothing's going to happen to me. Face out. I would say El Chapo. Chat. I'd rather disrespect American gangs over the cartel. Nigga, chat. I live, I live in Cali. If I say one thing about El Chapo chat, the, the next stream y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see my head attached to one of one of them stickers. Even I know smarter than, than 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 to this Mexicans, bro. Hell no! Shout out to all my Mexicans. Hell no, bro. If you're dissing the cards, bro, he is doing any. He's doing this to to go viral, bro. Stop! Stop! It's not worth your life, buddy. What's a fucking random nigga in Mexico? The fuck? Get that on your clip. I will piss all over that. Shit. Fuck Mexico! I, I will piss all over y'all land. I will piss all over. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What did Mexico do to you anyway? I know you're not talking about Sinaloa El Chapo. Chop your body up into funny shapes and feed you to tigers, El Chapo? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, oh boy. This man didn't sign a contract. No, if he's smart, he's never going to go to Mexico. And chat, y'all know I'd be going to Mexico, right? For all the wrong reasons, but you know. I, I just thought I'd tell y'all, bro. Like with the Grim Reaper. The moment he I stepped foot out of his house, he's getting caught in the most Tom and Jerry ass trap imaginable and then shipped to Mexico to get his fingernails pulled out one by one. Clearly, I don't like the Snags guy. I think it's a steaming hot pile of doo doo caca, but I genuinely do fear for this guy's life after that. Like, like there's just certain things that you don't do and you don't say and you you know like people can call me pussy all you want I, I, I don't care but no matter how you spin it disrespecting a mexican cartel lord saying that you're going to piss on them is crazy work and i know you're mr do anything to go viral but gee willikers what's the point of going viral if you got the mexican grim reaper putting your entire bloodline in an infinite lethal frame stun lock and he knows he's fucked up because guess what he did yet again a half-ass apology just to say he apologized and to farm more clips i genuinely yo yo he got a double barrel dude Double barrel shotgun ass nose, nigga. I'm not gonna lie, this should be TOS in itself. The fact that he's flashing a gun in his apology. Either way, you think they care about this? You think they care about your apology? Bro, do not show up to Mexico. I know the cartel is crazy, but you know, somebody came in my chat named El Chapa. You know, he just made the account. You know, he's obviously said he's part of the cartel. He's obviously fake cartel. He wouldn't be on the website on kick. Troll. So your response to that would be like, would be you, you'll, you'd piss over Mexicans? What did that have to do with one user you hate? I, I, I can see a nigga named um, sh shit, Michael B. Jordan on my chat. I'm not going to diss the actual Michael Jordan or the Michael B. Jordan. Like, I'm going to diss the nigga in my chat. Like, stop, bro. Only in the chat. But, you know, he threatened my family, you know, so I was just saying, like... Now, I'm gonna cut that clip right here, because off-rip Snags is being a dirty little liar, and he's telling a little fibby wibby. A word, too, I was talking about, oh, Chopper, Chopper with an A, with an A. Yeah, that's what them niggas gonna hit your ass with if you keep playing around like that, buddy. This apology video is a minute and 30 second long little yap session saying nothing, so I'm not gonna waste anyone else's time here. As I said earlier, I'm, like, 90% okay. confident he only did this to farm engagements and to chase virality. I mean, the dickhead put taco and burrito emojis in the apology tweet, and then swapped his profile picture to selena for a while and as the biased unbiased youtuber that i am i will admit dude kind of got some moments where he's actually funny chat imagine trying imagine being like racist to black people or offending black people and you change your profile picture to mlk do you know how bad you would be canceled bro like, like I, i'm sorry i feel like sometimes look i gotta be real i feel like black people us as black people we get away with a lot of things Cause I feel like a lot of the times if the roles were reversed and other ethnicities did shit to us, you, we know how we would feel. So what makes niggas think it's okay to do it to other races, bro? It's not.
thing. But all of that gets overshadowed by clips of him being literal scum of the earth. This guy is a sad, pathetic excuse for a streamer that literally does anything to go viral to the point that it is his own detriment. And the sad reality of it is he's going to keep going and he's going to keep doing shit like this. This is the type of nigga that cannot be dealt with by just banning him off the platform. Like he will literally just respawn worse than last time under a different account. And while he still does have the platform that he has, he is raising an audience of 12 to 16 year olds to follow and do everything that he says. I mean, look at this. There are actual kids throwing up gang signs and yelling that they see red okay wait when you finally get caught in new york with with 30 gang members and you're going and you're going ig live and they're smacking you then you're going to real life be scared dude this is the type of audience that finds niggas like this um interesting him. And to keep it above with y'all, I think this dude is literally going to not only get himself, but his whole audience seriously hurt if he keeps this up. In fact, he actually encourages it by saying he wants his fan meetups to be shot up. I really, I really turn niggas crazy. I really turn little kids crazy, bro. I can't wait till I have my first meet and greet, bro. I'm telling you, it's going to be a shootout. Like, mad niggas going to get shot at my meet and greet. Like, I'm going to be the only streamer that hosts a meet and greet that gets shot up. Like, I can't wait, bro. Y'all niggas. And you're priding yourself in your audience getting shot? So, so you're, if you're supporting this nigga, you basically say, yeah, man, I, I'm willing to take a bullet. You're going to start crashing out. Y'all going to start just in the crowd like, oh, my God, I can't wait, Marty. Like This is not the type of person that needs to be leading a community of kids, like, at all. This guy needs to go. Like, he needs to be sailed away permanently. Like, I'm talking, throw his ass in the jail cell and pour cement on his feet so he can't move. And take that cell key, melt it down, and forge it to a muzzle so we don't got to hear this nigga speak no more. Whatever we got to do, sail him away and sail him away for good. Like, I am... Facts, facts. That nigga is weird. Um, Kick, please start having better... Um. There's better policies, man. I'll be seeing too much weirdos in the platform. Anyways, YouTube, that does include the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, join us on Discord, catch on Twitch, all that gets the fan waxer for life. Love y'all and peace.